Come in. You wanted to see me? Yes, please take a seat. You have a big day today. Lots of responsibility. I've actually been meaning to talk to you about that. I would like to renegotiate my terms. I'm not sure if that's really your place. You're meant to tell people who they are, what they're not, and shape the outcome of their lives based on four criteria under a time crunch. It's too much pressure. I don't know these kids. I don't know who they'll end up being. I'm still reeling over my screw up with Peter. You're not really selling yourself here. I don't want to sell myself. Well that's not really the mentality I'd expect from you, sorting hat. Now more than ever, in this world of chaos and ambiguity, it's important to tell people what they should be, to categorize and label them. But what if my judgments are wrong? Shouldn't I let them be who they want to be? Shouldn't they have the final say? No. You are God. And God makes no mistakes. They were born that way baby. You make sure they stick with the attributes they were given. You're butchering Gaka right now. I think I'm going to do things my way this year. Do what I say, or I'll rent you out to Party City. You think you can scare me? I've choked on Malfoy hair gel for decades. I've contracted Gingivitus from the Weasley clan. And I get lice every... damn... year. Are you ready? No. Just go with your gut. I don't have one. Sorry I'm just a little on edge. I'll say. Okay. They youths are coming. Yo, what's up? I'm Seamus. Bold of you to greet me in that manner. I'm as bold as they get. So I'm assuming you want? Gryffindor. Yes please. Fine. Can I see you in my office? Now. I wouldn't think so because we're both here. Do not dare give me cheek. I don't have one. What in the name of Hogwarts was that? You just let a person decide what he wants for his life. With no pushback. What were you thinking giving up your power like that? What have you become? Angry. Bitter. Literarily irrelevant. What have you become? Tired, Joe. I've become tired. I just don't give a shit anymore. And quite frankly, I can't for the threads of me figure out why you do. I'm not going to pretend that I know what's best for these kids. I mean, look at me. I'm just a janky old hat. So you're really insinuating that these 11 year olds know what's best? I'm saying no one knows. And what does it truly mean to be brave? Or wise? Or loyal? Or a sneaky bastard? Did you know who you were when you were their age? Do you even know who you are now? Besides angry, bitter, and on the brink of literary irrelevance? No. I've become lost, sorting hat. Utterly lost. So focus on you, girl. Get that character development going for yourself. I know you're a writer, but maybe just focus on your own story for now and let other people figure themselves out. That's what I'm going to do. Will you at least finish the ceremony? I suppose. But I'm not touching the greasy follicles of the unstylish youth anymore. Thank you. So where's your head at, kid? It's going a kilometer a minute. I think I have an excellent set of attributes that will ensure my success at this school, but I'm not sure which one is strongest. I would say my intelligence, but my one reservation is that I don't do well with heights, so tower living isn't for me. That doesn't at all mean that I'm a coward though, quite the opposite. I believe that bravery is. Gryffindor it is since there's no house for being annoying. Sorry. I don't know if I have any strengths to be honest with you. You're certainly brave enough to wear that bowl cut on your first day. No worries, my lad. You'll grow into it. I demand. For you to find a different hair product, yeah, you're a stinky snake boy for sure. I like to think it's because of my great ambition and cunning attitude. No, it's your blatant disregard for others' nostrils. I thought you didn't have any. I can still smell the bitch from a mile away. You mean Kilometer? It's a reference to my favorite teen drama. Ugh, no one understands me here. Too bad Toby's tattoo does not apply in my case. 
901 not free at last. Okay you seem like you're going through something, so I'm going to move on. Thank God. Please 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 don't put me with the snake boys. I'm a good boy. I promise. I promise I'll be good. Save me, Sorting Hat. You're my only hope. Chill, boy. Where do you want to go? Through the Griffin door. Please 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 please. It's cool with me. Thank you thank you thank you, Mr. Hat. Nothing has ever gone my way before. What a poor, pathetic child you are. I've been called worse. I don't doubt it. I'll just go wherever. Sounds like a Hufflepuffle to me. Except there. Okay, shifting gears towards Slytherin. Actually no. Not that one either. This seems like a riddle, so... Ravenclaw? Pass. Hi. Dear God I can smell the ginger. So are you going to make me follow in the footsteps of my brothers? Is that what you want? I guess. You don't want to experiment elsewhere? Well I wouldn't want to get bullied, and I wouldn't want to become a bully, so that cancels two houses out. And there's no way I'd have the patience to use my brain every time I wanted to take a nap, so... No. Alright you got it. Well done. I'm basically just a life coach slash therapist at this point. Except you have better benefits. Really? I live in a closet and only come out once a year, my degree fitness becoming increasingly visible with every appearance. Yeah mental health professionals receive an ironically low level of support. Well that sucks. Yeah. But anyway, you've made a difference this year. You should take a sab hat Eichel. Ha. Ha. Get it? Bye.